that's a bigger fish. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's a bigger fish. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, yep, on a big body of water again, just the way I like it. I had to drive a little ways to get to this one, but uh, we're going for some big fish today. So I'm gonna start with this uh, ultralight rip and wrap. It's a number four, uh, I think that's a pink UV, but I mean, it's not really the biggest bait in the world, but it does help weed out littler fish. So let's see if we can catch some big ones. Okay, so I just put down a jigging wrap. Uh, I switched my rip and wrap. I, I don't know if the rattles are too much for him today. Okay, I was going to stick it out with the jigging wrap, but if they need meat to commit, then I guess I'm going to have to give them it. So, fingers crossed we'll get some, we'll get something on uh, the minnow and a spoon. I can't tell if there's two fish down there or one big one. I think there's two two big ones. That might be a big fish. Tried something different. I tried going down to the bottom past them. Let's see if it irritated them. Finally. That's why. Because <laughs> of the jumbo perch. Stubborn fish. That's a nice perch. Oh, that would explain a lot. I get a release on this guy, I ain't gonna keep any today. First fish of the day is a jumbo perch. I thought this was a small walleye. Kept messing with me. Goodbye. Well, that's one fish, uh, and I was not expecting that. That was a jumbo perch. <laughs> so that makes me wonder, because there was a bigger mark down there, if that's an even bigger perch. That'd be kind of cool. So. Fingers crossed, we can get more of those guys. I mean, I am walleye fishing, so they're in the same area, but let's, you know, I, I really, really want a giant walleye today, so that's the goal. So stay tuned. We should be on fish shortly. That was a pretty good hit. <laughs> Another jumbo. Man, really tempted to keep some perch. <laughs> really tempted. What's this one? Is it another perch? Oh, little walleye. 
Well, at least we're on the right track now. <laughs> you just gotta be triple the size. Go down the hole. I think there's another one down there waiting, so I'm going to try and get down there real quick. See, now that would have been a really nice perch. <laughs> okay, so, come on, big walleye. One just showed up. Oh, here comes one shooting up off the bottom. Oh, he hit it hard, too. Give him to come back. I don't think I have any meat left on there. We'll see if he hits it again. Yep. He ate the tail. Well, they got him to come back. It's another perch. Oh, oh. The little tiny walleye. <laughs> Actually, that might have been a sauger. Well, that's a good sign. I mean, I want bigger ones, but really, if they're biting that hard. Dropping down on one. Oh, it's shooting up. Oh, well, there's a couple of them. Looks like the bigger ones below them. I went for the bigger one. That was a big fish. I actually think the big one was chasing my the little one that was going after me. I think the little guy's coming back. I'm not sure what it is. Another little tiny walleye. See, I think there is a really big one with this guy down there. So I'm going to try and hurry up and get back down. Good thing is, is I got my minnow head back. Bad thing is, is I got to put it back on. Let's hope that big guy stuck around. I'm trying to act like a wounded minnow, like that other guy got it, but it didn't eat it. Oh, here comes one. We shot all the way up there and gave up. Oh, ripped it right out of his mouth. I actually felt that one. Throw this tail on there real quick and uh, see if we can get him to come back. Okay, game back. Try not to move it too much this time. Whatever it is seems extremely finicky. Almost feel like just putting one of those iFish Pros right here. Or my dead stick. Just pounding bottom and I had this guy come in.
I think he got my minnow head, that's why he stopped chasing. I think he came back. That or it's a different fish. Back again. So I had one shoot up off the bottom like it was going to hit mine and then it just turned around and went right back down. Let's see if this one comes up and actually hits it. There we go. That feels like a better fish. Because it is. Oh. Well, we're in the right direction. Barely hooked. <laughs> I kind of want to measure this guy. Oh. Alright, this guy is only 14 inches long, but I am very happy that he played ball. The thing was, is there was another bigger one down there, so uh, maybe they're turning on. That one felt different. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll take a day of a hundred fish. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Oh, you buttoned yourself shut there. Got the tenacity of the big guy. Good to see. I just had another one come flying up off the bottom. And then there's another one down there. Try and get back down there on that next one. The other one looked a little bigger. Okay, it's, uh, it's looking like it's prime time here, so I gotta pay attention, move fast, talk less. Sorry, guys. <laughs> There's one down there right now. Pretty shooting up for it. Looks like there's a couple of them down there. As you can see, I got a little bit more comfortable in here. Uh, it's finally getting cold out, and uh, yeah, forgot how chilly it can get. So, got the heater cranking. Got that up off the ice, and uh, let's warm up a little bit and catch some fish. Oh, one just came in.
the better one. I had to trick that guy into biting. Well, the question is, how long is he? Just short of 15. All right, this guy, this one was just short of 15. Um, if they get bigger, somebody had a good idea and they said bleed them out and then uh, keep them on ice overnight. And then I could keep my uh, my fish if I wanted to. But this guy's just a little bit too small, like right there. But happy they're playing. Another one down there already. A little guy came up. That's a bigger fish. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's a bigger fish. Crazy head shakes. It's probably a catfish. <laughs> no. It's actually a big northern pike that rolled in my line. <laughs> well, I got a little bit of everything today. I gotta untangle my line from this slimer. And I'm probably gonna have to retie. Okay, as you guys see, I just got this 28 inch northern pike. It's gonna go right back. It's making a mess. Alright. Bye, buddy. Go on. Where she goes. Wait forever for that thing to hit. And I get a feeling this wasn't hit. Because <laughs> I feel like this guy stole it from whoever was down there. 100%. Okay guys, so that's the end of day one. Um, obviously I didn't do an intro today. It's basically, I was not sure what I was doing, uh, where I was going, you know, what I was fishing for. And then I kind of just made up my mind at the last minute I wanted to chase big walleye and uh, yeah, here I am. I know I didn't get any real big ones, but I mean, I got a lot of those little guys. That's always good to see. Then I got that random Northern Pike and I got those jumbo perch. So all in all, today wasn't a bad day. I mean, for not knowing what I was gonna do, uh, today was a good day. So stay tuned for uh, 
day two. I'm gonna be staying uh, in the area again, probably come back out. I don't know if I'm gonna chase walleye tomorrow or try and get some crappie to eat. Catch and cook maybe? I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do a catch and cook, but uh, thanks for watching. I'm glad you guys stuck around to here. Uh, obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up, but if you're new here, please just remember to. Mm -hmm.